Alright, what's up everybody? It's Mike from PC Classic Cars back with another test drive video. Today we are in the 1971 Chevrolet Nova SS. 350 automatic factory AC. It's actually nice here this morning in Texas so I don't have to kick on the air just yet. About another hour from now we'll be into triple digits so Try to get our test drives done here early in the morning before I start dying of heat stroke. So this is a really, really cool Nova. Um, funny enough, it's a, it's a car that I've owned once before. I owned it about, I gotta go back and look. It was a, a couple of years ago when I owned this Nova before. Um, I originally bought it from a guy um, in the Dallas area and then I sold it to a guy up in Oklahoma uh, the guy up in Oklahoma sold it to a guy back in Dallas, and that's who I bought it from. Uh, 71 Nova has a great running 350, turbo 350 behind it. Uh, power steering, power brakes, this in the front. Really nice exhaust system in it. Um, and what's really cool about this Nova, it does have factory AC, and the AC does blow cold. Um, I will say that someone definitely did some work on the rear end, and it does have a little bit of gear in it. We're cruising about 60, 60 miles an hour right now, and I, I guess we're right about 3,000 RPM. So uh, it does have a little bit of gear. So if someone wanted to make this a highway-friendly car, you'd either have to do an overdrive transmission um, or you'd just swap out the gear ratio on the rear end. Because again, at 60, you are turning a few RPMs. But it is an excellent, excellent driving car. It's very tight. Um, I would hop in this car and have no problem cruising into Dallas if I had to. Really unique color combo. It's the classic copper exterior and the, the paint shows really nice on it. A few smaller cosmetic issues on the outside. The, the front windshield's got a couple little dings. There's a little chip right there. There's a little stone chip right in front of the wiper there. A few smaller flaws in the paint, but overall it's a, it's a great quality. It shows really nice. Um, factory bench sheet interior. Um, back seat doesn't look like anyone's ever sat in it. Front seat is really nice. Headliner, visors, door panels, steering wheel gauges, everything is really, really clean. Uh, it does have an aftermarket stereo in it. Uh, back on the gauges, the lens is really easy and clear. Sometimes they get a little hazy um, and tough to see. This one is super clear. Uh, not a lot of instrumentation in this car. You have a fuel gauge and you have a speedometer and an odometer. Uh, there's no tack, there's no voltage gauge, there's no oil pressure gauge. Uh, just your standard sweeping gauges in this one. Uh, but all your interior turn signals work. All of the lights on the exterior work. Uh, the only thing that I have noted not working on this Nova is the washer sprayer fluids don't work, but the wipers themselves do work. So really, really small thing not working. Everything else is sorted and it's good to go. Horn works, gauges are obviously working. Like I said, the radio kicks on, play some sound. Heat and AC both work. Heat's hot, AC's cold. Um, it is a factory AC system. It does have an uh, old air products uh, conversion on it for the, the POA valve. All right, warmed up. We'll get on it a little bit. And you guys get to hear me talk a little bit more about how much I like this Nova. All right, pull out in front of the Lexus here. No shimmies, no shakes. Steering is really nice and tight and responsive. Car goes where you want it to go. Um, it stops really easy. Again, just a really well ironed out car, kind of front to back. Underside is probably one of the most solid Novas I've ever had. The floors, the frame rails, the trunk band. It's just an excellent rust-free car on the bottom side. Didn't find any problems whatsoever. The exhaust is nice. All the suspension checks out good. Just one of those cars that you hop in and just the moment you get in the car, from when you open the door, to you sit down, to you turn the key, it's just a good car. Ex 
exhaust has a nice sound to it. It's not too loud. Um, if I had a person sitting next to me, uh, I could easily have a conversation with them. When you get in the throttle, you hear the exhaust note, you hear the mufflers, but it's not too loud where you still can't talk even when you're in the gas, uh, which is kind of what I prefer. Sometimes these cars, they have a really quiet muffler and you can't even hear that it's a muscle car. Or two, you have a three inch exhaust with a single chambered muffler and it's so loud you can't even hear yourself think while you're driving. So this is a good happy medium where it sounds really good going down the road. We'll kick our turn signal on a little earlier here since a uh, handicapped placard behind us wants to get on our tail. Some people forget that we're in classic cars and they don't stop as well as newer cars, but we'll, uh, we'll give her plenty of room to pass us. Take it down our bumpy road here, check out the suspension. But again, it's as a, a great car, great driving car. Suspension feels great going down the straight road. Again, steering is really responsive. Suspension is all nice and tight. We checked everything out up on the lift and all the suspension components check good for us. No weird rattles, no weird shakes, no weird sounds. Back on the glass, the, uh, the side windows roll down like they should and they all look great. The vent windows open and close like they're supposed to. Back glass is really nice. Um, and then again, on the front windshield, I'll mention it again. There's a, uh, there's a little stone chip right there. Um, and then there's also a little nick over here. If I was gonna change anything on this car, I'd probably change the windshield at some point because you never know if that's gonna spider any further. Um, but no windshields are easily accessible, so someone can put a new windshield on this pretty easy, pretty inexpensive. I always keep one or two Novas in my inventory, um, kind of like Chevelles. Um, I, I always keep one, two, three Chevelles, and I always keep the same number of Novas. Um, I sell those cars, Chevelles and Novas, pretty comparably. Um, Novas and Chevelles always sell really, really quick. And this one being just a well ironed out, just a nice car front to back. Um, I don't expect it to, uh, to sit here long. When I had it the first time, it sold within the first couple of days. So I expect that that will probably happen again uh, for, for go around number two. Little tire rub there, sorry. seat is really comfortable foam is really nice and firm it's not broken down where you sink into the seat let y'all hear it a little bit more there we're reading 94,246 miles the guy that i bought this car for the first time from a number of years ago um, he had the car for a really long time and he was adamant that the car is a 94,000 original mile car. Um, I, I have no way to prove that it doesn't have the original motor in it. So I can't, I uh, can't really say that it's the original mileage without any additional paperwork. Um, but just kind of judging the overall condition of the car and just how it drives, I could very well see this be a 94,000 original mile car. Uh, one other really cool thing I didn't touch on is in the glove box, there's a little uh, a little blue like uh, notebook. Uh, starting in the early 90s, uh, the guy that we bought it from, uh, he kept a log of when he did oil changes and when he added fuel to it. So that's all in the glove box, which is really cool. That'll go with the car. So as always, guys, I really appreciate you stopping in to watch another one of my test drive videos. If there's ever anything else you want to see here, uh, comments, concerns, questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment on the YouTube channel, or you can call or text me directly at 903-820-1019. That's my personal cell phone. When you call or text, you get me directly. Um, if you don't already follow us, check us out at pcclassiccars.com or on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, pretty much all social platforms. You're going to find us as PC Classic Cars. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll see you guys on the next test drive video. <coughs> Excuse me.